go. Actually, you can turn it on the side if you want. Which way? Filming. Oh, okay. So if you want to do that, you can do that. Okay, cool. All right, so this is Victor Hopp reporting for the LGBT Weekly. I'm in my first electric vehicle ever. I'm putting on my seatbelt because I don't think electric vehicles have managed to perfect not getting into car accidents. I'm with Travis... Mossy. Mossy, yep. okay. Nissan Mossy. Yep. All right, and uh, what do I do? Well, let's go ahead and we're going to depress the brake here and we'll go ahead and press the start button right there to the right. Okay, so there's no keys. And if you need to adjust the seat, you can go ahead and it's underneath there. Not 30 anymore. <laughs> so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to push the lever to the right hand side or to the left hand. This and then the lever? Yep. Can you show the lever to the camera? Yeah. So you'll slide it to the left okay. and down. Okay, so it's kind of like a sh stick shift? In a, uh, in a way, it's more like a, a video game. <laughs> That's what I kind of liken it to. Okay. Um, let's see. Did you return it on? Did? Oh, there we go. I did. Oh, there we go. Do we have a little air conditioning? We do. It's going to start. It's going right. to start. So the future better. does have air conditioning. <laughs> so over and down. And now you're in. Let's see. This is why I drive a regular car. <laughs> is, you, is your foot on the brake? No. Just want to make sure. And the brake is off. What do we do, Victor? I don't know. I broke the $40,000 electric vehicle. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead. Let's try this. Press the brake for me. So the emergency brake always has to be on? No, 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 no. Take the emergency brake off. Okay. All right, now depress the, depress the actual brake. Oh. Yep, you don't. All right, I think we're ready to go now. Sure, I can't drive an electric vehicle, but I make a very good pesto chicken with sun-dried tomatoes. All right, now put the foot on the brake. Yep. All right. Now we're going. Let's okay. do it. This is very quiet. I'm gonna roll up the window. Oh, I'm not. I think we got a jam, boss. <laughs> oh, did you, isn't there like a lock? It could be on the lock. There you go. There we go. All right, we'll take a left out of here. All right, we're taking a left. We're at the. Uh, Promotion for electric vehicles to influence tastemakers such as myself to right. buy these cars in order to get the word out on the street that these are not only trendy but good for the environment. And uh, Travis, maybe you can tell us a little bit about how that is. How are they good for the environment? Well, they're great for the environment a few ways. Um, they, they reduce your emissions um, by essentially. You never, you never have to fill up with gas, which is a plus. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take a left here. Sorry. It wasn't me. It was the car. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, no, it's it's the first 100% electric vehicle from Nissan. And um, in doing smooth. that, they... Uh, yeah, it's very smooth. Um, in doing that, they take away, you know, all, all time at the pumps. And you only the only fuel or the only cost to running the vehicle at this point is plugging it in at your house okay. or at some commercial charger uh, at any dealership. And how long does it take to recharge an all-electric vehicle? Um, it's typically... Or this, this all-electric Conservatively speaking, we like to say, uh, you know, with a 220 charger, it takes between three and a half and eight hours. Um, with a trickle charger, if you depleted the battery to, to zero, it's going to be roughly 21 hours. Um, and then if you have a 440, it's going to be 35 minutes. So that's, yep. So that's going to be at the commercial grade. Okay. Um, so, so, so if you're in a rush, mm -hmm. you're in a bind. Uh, if you're, if you're, you know, trying to we'll go ahead and take a left here or right here. Sorry. Okay. Um, it, it's for the driver that's, you know, only going to put in 40 miles a day. It's, it's for the driver that's going to have a place to park it at home that has a charger. Um, and also, you know, if, if they have a charger at work, they can plug in um, at work. But you're right, if you are in a rush and you are feeling you know, that additional stress, it, it might not be the right vehicle for you. Okay, now um, you say that um, this is for someone who's only driving 40 miles. No, 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 no. I, I would say conservatively 80 miles. Okay. So 80 miles. So Take it right. who pays for the charger at home? Um, you're gonna pay that electric bill. So 
but do you pay for the actual device, the it, charger? It itself? come it comes with a charger, or you can you can have a larger charger installed in your house, and uh, and that'll you know basically will charge it, faster. Will it recharge my Samsung Galaxy S4? Uh, really fast, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, how many charging state? Is there a uniform code? for charging so that if I pull into the same station as say a, 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 a competitor, a Leaf, yeah. um, are they going to, or I'm in a Leaf. You're in a Leaf. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. So a competitor pulls in, are they gonna be able to charge at the same station? Uh, you know, I, I can't answer that because I'm not quite sure on that one. Okay. So, yeah, right. I'm not sure on that one. All right, and how fast does this car take to go from zero to 60? Let's try it out. Wow, zippy in a residential neighborhood. That, You're gonna pay the ticket, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> holy moly. Yeah, it's got a lot of pickup. Um, it's got 100% torque at zero miles per hour, um, which is kind of nice. You don't really feel that in any other vehicle. Take it right, right here. It's it's like being in a real car. Exactly, exactly. It's still cool. <laughs> yep, the cool factor is not lost. Yeah, yeah, right. Are they easy? Are they hard to break into? Are they hard vehicles to steal? Um. I don't know if they're any harder than any other vehicle. I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know if I have a statistic for that. Well, the reason I ask only is because you can, I've heard, right. you can jimmy the steering column to get a car. Hmm. And I'm wondering if there's something that car thieves would get into, somehow get around so that they break into a car and they realize it's an electric vehicle. You know, I can take it right, right here. What are they going to do? So I thought maybe hmm. there might be something. Yeah, I'll have to look into that. Yeah. I'm not sure. Good questions, huh? Yeah, that's deep. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I feel like my grandparents <laughs> driving nice and slowly in the residential neighborhood. Yeah. Travis, you've been great. Sweet, man. All right, you just pull up? Yeah, there you go. All right, and this is Victor Hoff reporting for LGBT Weekly right. and a Nissan Leaf.